Apple's stock history has been characterized by significant growth and periods of volatility. Here is a brief overview of some key milestones. IPO and early years, 1980s 1990s. 1. Apple went public on December 12, 1980, at an initial offering price of $22 per share. 2. Throughout the 1980s and early 1990s, Apple faced several challenges, including leadership changes and product struggles. 2. As a result, the stock price experienced fluctuations. Return of Steve Jobs and the iPod era, late 1990s early 2000s. 1. Steve Jobs returned to Apple as CEO in 1997 and revitalized the company's product line. 2. The introduction of iconic products like the iMac, iPod, and iTunes significantly impacted Apple's stock performance. 3. In 2005, Apple announced its transition to Intel processors, which further boosted investor confidence. iPhone and expansion, mid-2000s 2010s. 1. The introduction of the iPhone in 2007 marked a turning point for Apple. 1. The device's success had a transformative effect on the company's stock performance. 2. Apple continued to expand its product lineup with the introduction of the iPad, MacBook Air, and other innovative devices. 3. The stock experienced significant growth during this period, with occasional dips due to market fluctuations and investor concerns. Tim Cook era and continued growth, 2010s. 1. After Steve Jobs' passing in 2011, Tim Cook became the CEO and continued to lead the company's expansion and growth. 2. Apple launched new iterations of its existing products and introduced new devices, such as the Apple Watch. 3. The stock price reach. 4. D. New all-time highs during this period, with occasional fluctuations related to market conditions and Apple's financial performance. How much is Apple worth? Apple's market capitalization, which is a measure of the company's total market value, was over $2 trillion. It became the first publicly traded U.S. company to reach that milestone in August 2020. Apple's market value can fluctuate over time due to various factors, including stock market movements, company performance, and investor sentiment. For the most up-to-date information on Apple's current market value, I recommend checking financial news sources or consulting stock market websites. What products does Apple make? Apple Inc. is known for its wide range of consumer electronics, software, and online services. Here are some of the main products that Apple makes. iPhone, Apple's flagship product, a line of smartphones that combines communication, multimedia, and internet capabilities iPad, a series of tablet computers that offer a larger display than iPhones and are designed for tasks such as browsing, multimedia consumption, and productivity. Mac, a lineup of desktop and laptop computers that run on Apple's macOS operating system, including iMac, MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and Mac Pro. Apple Watch, a smartwatch that offers fitness tracking, health monitoring, notifications, and integration with iPhone and other Apple devices. Apple TV, a digital media player and microconsole that enables users to stream video and audio content on their televisions, as well as access various apps and games. AirPods, wireless earbuds that provide a seamless audio experience with Apple devices, featuring easy pairing, touch controls, and integration with Siri. HomePod, a smart speaker that combines high-quality audio with voice assistant capabilities, allowing users to control smart home devices, listen to music, and access information. Apple software. This includes macOS, iOS, the mobile operating system for iPhones and iPads, watchOS, for Apple Watch, and other software such as iTunes, iMovie, GarageBand, and more. Services. Apple also offers various online services, including the App Store, Apple Music, Apple TV+, Apple Arcade, iCloud, Apple Pay, and Apple Fitness+, Plus, among others. How does Apple protect user privacy? Apple has consistently emphasized its commitment to user privacy and has implemented several measures to protect user data. Here are some key ways in which Apple protects user privacy. Data Encryption. Apple devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Macs, 
use strong encryption methods to protect user data. This means that even if someone gains unauthorized access to the device, the data stored on it remains encrypted and inaccessible without the user's passcode or biometric authentication. App Store Review Apple rigorously reviews apps before allowing them on the App Store. This process includes evaluating the privacy practices of apps to ensure they adhere to Apple's guidelines and protect user data. App Tracking Transparency Starting with iOS 14.5, Apple introduced the App Tracking Transparency feature, which requires app developers to obtain user permission before tracking their data across apps and websites for personalized advertising purposes. Privacy Labels In the App Store, Apple now requires developers to provide privacy information about their apps in the form of privacy labels. These labels disclose the types of data collected by the app and how that data is used, giving users more transparency and control over their privacy. Intelligent Tracking Prevention Apple's Safari browser includes Intelligent Tracking Prevention, a feature that limits cross-site tracking by advertisers and third parties, making it more difficult to track users' browsing activities across websites. Differential Privacy Apple utilizes differential privacy techniques to collect and analyze user data in a way that preserves privacy. This approach involves adding noise or randomness to the data to protect individual user identities while still extracting meaningful insights at an aggregate level. Sign in with Apple. Apple provides a privacy-focused alternative to third-party sign-in services with Sign in with Apple. It allows users to sign in to apps and websites using their Apple ID while providing the option to hide personal email addresses and receive anonymized forwarding of communications. Private Relay, coming soon, with iOS 15 and macOS Monterey, Apple will introduce Private Relay, a feature that enhances user privacy while browsing the web by encrypting internet traffic and routing it through multiple relays, making it difficult for anyone, including Apple, to track browsing.